think, uh, um, you know, based on what I saw earlier in the season, uh, I, I just think the toughness is really, you got you guys got tougher as a team when you bounce back during that game. You had several moments where it could have gone sideways. What do you think has allowed you to do that? Um, really, the way we go hard in practice, the way we push each other, the way we grow together, you know, every day, the way we push each other, like, to make shots, play harder on defense, uh, stuff like that. You know, the guards are improving, the bigs are improving, uh, and we just go at it every day. And oh, Hardy, Hardy just pushes us. Would you agree that you guys have gotten tougher as a team that, like I said, there were several moments in that game where it could have gone sideways and you guys fought back at, at each time? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean we work on this at practice uh, for the past couple of months. We've been preparing for tough games the, uh, and the physicality of the game. So, I mean, sure. it really just came down to us process. moving forward and got 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 it. Got it. Got it. So the game. I also think that you guys have gotten a lot better offensively, particularly the past, I don't know, six weeks or so. Uh, what do you think has led to that? 83 points today, 90 last game, right, if I'm not mistaken? Mm -hmm. What do you think yeah. has led to that? Uh, the way we share the ball offensively, you know, we got three guys on the team shooting over 40% from three. Uh, the bigs are shooting great around the basket. Uh, Lonzo's hitting threes. You know, we be turning the ball over. We had five turnovers today, 17 assists. So we, we take care of the ball, and that just helps us, off our offense, uh, move with pace and things like that. You, oh, go ahead. Kenny, can you talk about, I mean, David hit some, some big shots there for you guys in overtime. What's it like, you know, seeing his progression and, and how, you know, he's played a key role in, in this win here? Uh, it's amazing. Um, so after he missed that first three, I looked at him and I said, I don't care, just be confident. He went down and hit the next one and then hit two free throws. That won us the game, basically. Got big rebounds, got stops on defense. So the way I see him uh, improving, he's going to be big for Loyola in the playoffs in years to come. So I, I thought that you look at the statue, your guys' performance from three, that was, one, I thought, one of the big reasons why you won this game. You're a big part of that. Uh, how have you developed, you think, over the course of the year as a shooter to give you guys that spacing that you're looking for? Uh, really, it's just the confidence from my teammates. I mean, when I'm missing shots and I'm not on, they just give me confidence, bring me more swag into my game. Um, I mean, I work on shots throughout practice. We stay after practice and shoot jump shots. So, I mean, me just playing, my, being myself throughout the game, it just helped me down the stretch. Kenny, you guys, I think, started 2-7 and seven in the league, if I'm not mistaken, something like something that. Like and then that, now yeah. you're hosting, going to host a uh, tournament game. You know, what's been the message throughout the team to continue to keep, keep getting better even though you had a tough start, keep getting better, keep stacking days, that sort of thing. What's been the message throughout practice and throughout the past six or so weeks? Uh, I would say, you know, for me, it's play every game like it's going to be your last. Today, this could have been my last home game at Loyola. I've never had a, a home game in the playoffs. So, I mean, you can see the smile on this. I'm so excited for a home game in the playoffs. So just keep pushing through, really. You know, so. And you, I mean, you talked about it. You've never had a home game in the playoffs. What do you envision Tuesday night being like for you? Uh, so we're playing Holy Cross again. Yep. You know, we just beat them by 22. So hopefully we could, you know, go and beat them by more. That would be great. So I can't let you go without asking about the strip that you had. It's a bit of a gamble, right? right. I mean, because they, even if you don't foul them, they could call it, right? right. So what's the decision-making process like for you that, okay, I'm going to go for the strip here? Uh... <laughs> We got a thing called, uh, just, it's just us on the team, nothing big, called First Team All Hands. <laughs> I started by Marquise, ran right another grassy one by me, uh, with me, and you know, he put me on that team, and I make, I try to do my best to get deflections, get steals, no matter who gets the ball, it's just get a stop. And, you know, I had confidence to go in there and, and put my hand in there and get it, and I got it. Yeah.